I'm something much more powerful than a wizard. You know what, Josh? You're a sweet guy, but I can't take dating a YouTube celebrity. And when people ask me about Ellen, I'm going to be like, who? Ellen DeGeneres? I don't know what they're talking about. I don't know who this Ellen chick is. Outside of Stephanie, I haven't really heard any woman complain about dating me. And that was a first time mistake and a last time mistake of that. You know, how would it feel if like the shoe was flipped? You know what I'm saying? If I want groceries or anything else, I got to work my job at YouTube for that. Yep. And I'm proud of Alex Campbell, dude. He's been clean off meth for he's been clean off of meth for a couple months now. And I can tell. Now I don't have a problem with alcohol because I've gone several days without drinking it despite having some in my fridge. Somebody dyed their hair black. What's up, YouTube? People are calling me a fucking scammer because I didn't film my, my hair dye video live. Well, to be fair, I did not get the money I asked for for that. And I decided that was stupid to charge people money for that in the first place. And second of all, because I'm dyeing my hair black, I'm of course gonna get black hair dye all over my fucking face and trying to film that in 2022 and be goofy like I did with the original hair dye video isn't gonna work because people might mistake it as you're doing blackface. And people are like, you scammed people. I'm like, well, first of all, I didn't make the money I asked for, so I did it for free. And second of all, avoid the whole ra potential race baiting bullshit with that. And third of all, it's already been done like once, you know? Some of, like, people calling me a scammer can fuck off. You wanna see King Cobra do some cocaine? This is some premium shit, dude. It's really good coke. You know, in Germany, they still make coke, cocaine extract? Yeah, I figured as much. What up, YouTube? It's your boy, King Cobra. I want to apologize ahead of time. My uh, Patreon videos this month are not going to be very entertaining as well the majority of pretty much all of my patreon money is going into getting my accounts out of the negative and well it's frustrating because it's not how i originally planned it uh, i do appreciate alex campbell bringing over some alcohol earlier like, I got to a point where I was content with my alcohol, and then I passed out. Alex Campbell left after I passed out, and freaking, yeah. Any money I've been making as of today, I've just been putting back into my bank account. My bank account's been in the negative. As I was in the process of getting it out of the negative, they charged me another overdraft fee, and I was like, man, that sucks. Right now, I am $52.14 in the negative, and I just transferred $8. So, like, I do appreciate everyone subscribing to my Patreon. You have no idea how much that saves my ass every month. You know what I'm saying? Um, if I'm $52 in the negative... Then, like, when I transfer that $54.36, I'll be out of the negative and I won't have to worry about, you know, so that's at least a relief. I, I barely have enough money to cover rent. Ah, the joys of being a starving artist. Eh. Uh, I noticed that my Patreon subscribers have gone down. 
that's really a crying shame, to be honest. And really, that's your loss, you know? Now I ran out of the Coca-Cola I was drinking, so this is just straight black cherry G Fuel and a uh, strong bit of vodka, so there you go. But I got a friend with a birthday coming up, and I was hoping to have $57 to order them a nice birthday present. You know, I wanted to buy them one of my awesome T-shirts from my customized girl. And the reason why my account goes in the negative is because I order DoorDash for me and my my closest friends. You know, they feed me, I feed them. That's how that works kind of thing, you know. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't mind my account going in the negative when I order food. That's just human nature. Even if, like, I don't do a review on it, I got to eat, man, you know. I'm extremely grateful that I have enough money to break even and I'll be able to afford rent, hopefully. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's kind of how my friendships work with, like, people that I know. If they're in a tight spot and they want some food, you know, I'll order food, feed them and myself for the evening or for a couple days kind of thing, you know. And then my friends, in turn, they feed me back. You know, they offer me food. So, you know, hey, that works out, man. Ah, uh, who could this be, I wonder? the wrong apartment that's all right i was just like do i know you <laughs> knowing me i thought it was gonna be one of my trolls fucking with me again like oh geez if i didn't have to put my account back out of the fucking negative i'd have more money and that's kind of my fault because honestly i love ordering doordash it's convenient i don't have to go to the grocery store and put up with people, people gawking at me like, oh my God, it's King Cobra. Uh, I'm a popular guy today, I guess. Hold up. Can I help you? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I must have the wrong fucking apartment. Uh... That's twice that's fucking happened. Uh, I had this box of Pop-Tarts in the freezer all goddamn day. So these are uh, lemon cream pie flavored Pop-Tarts. You believe that? Look at that. This box comes with four packets of Pop-Tarts. Look at that. Freshly opened. All right. Let's try a bite. Mmm. Ooh. I definitely got to brush my teeth more because sometimes eating sweets. My teeth don't hurt surprisingly, but that's regardless. The biggest reason why I wanted $200 to do my Patreon, or not Patreon, excuse me, but my hair dye video is because I have a cooking video lined up. My next cooking video, YouTube, is going to be meatloaf, okay? I want to King Cobra JFS up some meatloaf. I could do that for a YouTube video. Get out of here, fly. I will say this. Thank you to the apartment complex I live in for installing screens into my windows that needed it because the fly, the fly plot, but. The fly problem is no bueno. You know, it's non existent. As somebody who uh, struggles with Asperger's syndrome, uh, I find petting a dog is very therapeutic. See, I'm not going to fucking answer that because we've already been through this fucking crap multiple times. Oh, sorry, I must have the wrong apartment. Like, fucking stupid, dude. I'm not doing this crap for a third time. Oh, here she goes with the camera. Yeah, she's coming with the camera for the...
for your failure. That's right. Man, can you believe it's been five goddamn years since Angry Grandpa passed away? It will be five years in like two months. No, I remember, I remember the day fondly, and it was not a pleasant memory. My girlfriend Summer broke up with me because she couldn't handle eating a YouTube celebrity. And the trolls literally harassed my last girlfriend to the point where, they, where she's like, you know what, Josh, you're a sweet guy, but I can't take dating a YouTube celebrity. And I'm like, well, that's your loss, not mine. Whatever, you know. You know, me and my dad are going to fight about stupid shit, and my trolls are going to try as hard as they can to start drama between me and my dad. But at the end of the day, at least my dad cares, you know? And how many of my trolls can say they have a dad as awesome as mine? Oh, that's right. None of them. None of them. I might, have, I might have had a lot of anger towards my birth mother growing up, but I've learned to let go a lot of that, a lot of that because... It is what it is. Like, situations be like, you know, my stepmom is awesome, but, like, my biological mother was raised in an overly strict Christian household. So, what do you do? So, like, I pretty much spent all day watching YouTube videos out with Alex Campbell. And then I passed out. When I passed out, he took off. That's how it is. I don't care if it's Alex Campbell or not. Like, I share what I have, and my friends will share with me when, when what they have. Although it does get annoying when my dad constantly reminds me, your account's in the fucking negative. He doesn't say it like that, but it's like, dude, you think I don't already know? I'm working on it. And Bob Saget was murdered by the pedophiles who try to run Hollywood. Don't bullshit yourself, people. Spent years ripping on them, and they, they had enough of it. Those are the same assholes who murdered Chester Bennington, because that's how it is. And you want to call it a conspiracy theory? I'm like, open your eyes, people. Don't be a sheeple. Pay attention. And tomorrow I'll have enough money to put my account out of the negative. Now, once I get my account out of the negative, I got to be a little bit more careful at watching, you know, my account. And and the friends that I the friends that I order DoorDash for, I eat with them, and they they do for me what I do for them. You know, it's it's back and forth. You know, see, I got two rolled cigarettes like this one. Like, Alex Campbell traded me two rolled cigarettes for two NXTs. And I'm like, that's a fair trade, two for two. You know what I'm saying? And Alex Campbell was like, oh, I feel bad because marble rolls are more expensive and hand rolls, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, dude, don't worry about it. I'm not going to lie, YouTube. When I see people out there on YouTube who, who produce actual content, not just sitting here drinking and talking, I feel self-conscious about my YouTube. I feel like my YouTube channel is not entertaining enough, you know? Because there are people out there who are taking jet-propelled engines and attaching them to fucking electric scooters to make them go faster or gas-powered scooters or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's the truth. I feel inadequate with my YouTube channel when I see people out there who are actually conquering food challenges. Where it's like Cobra tries to do a fucking food challenge, and I feel and I fail every food challenge I I do. But as soon as I get my account out of the negative, and I get my rent paid, then I'll be able to get my dad something for his birthday. Even if it's just like something as simple as a happy birthday, dad. Thanks for being awesome kind of thing. You know, like I don't have a shit ton of alcohol neither. It's just this little cup right here. Me and Alex pretty much drank all the vodka that he brought over. And we're sitting here watching music videos. And I freaking passed out in my chair. And Alex took off after I fell asleep from drinking a little too much. I appreciated him not trying anything, you know. I don't judge Alexander Campbell for being trans. 
or bisexual, gay, whatever the fuck, as long as he ain't a sicko. You know, not bad for dyeing my hair black all by myself. Not bad at not bad at all. I think every month or so I want to dye my hair black when I can afford it because I like having black hair. So many people, like I was in fourth grade when September 11th happened, YouTube. I was in Mr. Kushner's class, fourth grade, getting bullied and picked on by everyone in school, including the girl I had a major crush on. Now the joke's on Dilly Perucci because it's like I got 41,000 subscribers. <laughs> yeah. In fact, I even had the Alicia Rohde walking by me at one point. And like she walked by me with her boyfriend at the time. And I pretty much ignored her because it's like you see a chick with a dude, you pretty much ignore it. It's the same with that cute goth chick I saw at Loaf and Jug the other day. This chick was cute, too, and she was with her boyfriend, and I stopped to hold the door for both of them just to be polite, you know? I don't give a fuck how big your boyfriend is, honey. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. You can't legally hit me because I'm autistic. I don't go out of my way to cause trouble, but if trouble comes my way, I'll be the last motherfucker you'll ever fuck with. My trolls are sitting there going, you need to get laid. And it's like, I can tell my trolls are not getting laid. I can tell my trolls are not getting laid because they spend all day trying to fuck with King Cobra. And all it does is get people to make make comments like, you know what? I feel sorry for Cobra because his trolls are assholes. And I, I dig his videos. He's humble about his YouTube fame. And he doesn't let the trolls get to him. Wow. Like, again, I appreciate Campbell bringing over the alcohol. Like, people call him a fucking mooch. He didn't throw it in my face. You know what I'm saying? He was just like, what up, Cobra? Can I hang out? Hey, man, I brought over some booze. You want to hang out and drink? Cool. And I'm proud of Alex Campbell, dude. He's been clean off meth for, he's been clean off of meth for a couple months now. And I can tell. And thank you to my buddy Tevin Reams who turned me on to marijuana because honestly, I love smoking weed for my Asperger's. It's fucking great. <coughs> People are like, <coughs> hey dude, Alicia Rohde wants to join your cult. And I'm like, I'll believe that when pigs fly. <coughs> Kids are more precious than rock and roll, dude. You know what I'm saying? I, I remember being a kid in junior high, spurging out, looking up ghost videos on YouTube, and studying the paranormal, and just spurging out on that. And Google videos, if you can remember that. You know, that's how old I am. Before YouTube was ever a thing, we had this thing called Google videos which was similar, but not quite. And YouTube was still just being developed at that point. That's how fucking old King Cobra is. So YouTube itself is like 31 years old, based off of that. And before I had YouTube, I had very successful jobs. Before I moved to Casper, I became famous on YouTube. Nobody harassed me at my job before becoming famous on YouTube. Like, my first job was a paper route in Valley City, North Dakota, rocking with the Times record. And it was an honest job. It taught me the value of a hard-earned dollar, YouTube, which is something called work ethic. You know, and thanks to my YouTube trolls, I'm now forced to be an entrepreneur and being an entrepreneur is fun. I get to make my, my own hours, doing my own goddamn thing. And that's the thing of it. I hated Justin Bieber along with everyone else when it was trendy, trendy to do so. But I got over it when I, when I became a celebrity myself. Now, if Will Smith's wife was going through chemo treatment because of cancer and he made fun of her, it would have been 10,000 times worse. 
So regardless of what the disease is, you don't make fun of a woman for having short hair. That's just stupid, dude. You don't know what the fuck she's going through. And if she makes it about, if she makes her hair issues public, you know, how would it feel if, like, the shoe was flipped? You know what I'm saying? What up? It's your goth bad boy back at it with another video. I got some shout outs to give. Jordan, thank you for the $5 donation. How much money for you to watch to catch a predator? Um, I support Chris Hansen 100%, so you don't got to charge me any money for that, dude. Like, I'll watch that shit for free. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fuck sickos. Yeah. So, right now I'm doing some dishes. Okay? YouTube, washing some dishes. Because I have a brand new cooking video in the works. Yeah, I got stuff to make meatloaf. Oh, man. I got my account out of the negative. So that's what's up. I'm not ordering any more DoorDash until after my rent is paid. I have barely just enough money. Just enough money to cover my most recent DoorDash for my uh, meatloaf. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Cobra. Now, we're going to be making a very delicious, very delicious meatloaf. Now, before we add in our bacon, we're going to need to grease up our pan, Stan. All right, take a look at that. There's one. And we're going to take that bacon and drop it into the pan full of butter. Bacon chop house burger seasoning. Let's go with that. Just a little bit of a little bit of that on our bacon. And we're gonna go ahead and just add the last of that bacon. So we're gonna start off this recipe with a full goddamn pack of Oscar Meyer's thick cut bacon, not a sponsor. Get you some of that. Oh yeah, dude. We're gonna get the rest of this goddamn bacon cooked up. Oh yeah, just like that, looking nice. I'll see you cool cobras in a minute. What up? Bacon is fully cooked. Now we need to make our breadcrumbs. Oh, did I say breadcrumbs? I meant to say <gasps> chip crumbs. Now before we add our chip crumbs and everything else, we know your beef. 80% lean and 20% fat. So there we go. So M2 on just add our beef first. Do we eat all of it really, realistically? Yeah, a little bit more. Chips, chips. Normally when you make a uh, meatloaf, you add breadcrumbs, but I'm gonna be creative. I'm gonna use cheddar sour cream ruffles and nacho cheese Doritos. Bitch. Then we're gonna take our meat and we're gonna incorporate those chip crumbs into our meat. Okay, we got our bacon, we got our beef. We need, we, we need some eggs, man. Now that we got our four eggs in there, it's time to uh, whisk it up. All right. Now we're gonna take it and kind of make it look like a donut in the middle. So give us a place to dump our egg mixture. And I'm gonna take our raw egg and seasoning. And to the meat it goes. Let's get these jalapenos prepped. Before we mix in our raw egg, and really all we're going to do is cut the stems off the jalapenos and then just split them in half. Oh 
Ah, fuck me. I don't want to cut my fingers. Be careful. Let's take our, our beef. Ah, whore. Son of a bitch. Fuck! Shit. Spill an egg all over the place. God damn it. God damn it. It was easy to clean up. One second. Uh, I got a spare towel that I use for cleaning messes. That's gonna have to be disinfected with bleach when I'm done. Son of a bitch, you two. This fucking meatloaf better be where it's at, Tubes. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's better be like so fucking good and make you want to slap your mama. You feel me on that, YouTube? Here's there it is. Some country crock original. We're gonna use that to uh, grease our pan. Motherfucking. Eh, that's just the fun of cooking, I suppose. Put the rest of that butter off into the burger meat, I guess. Fuck it. Now we're gonna take and start lining the inside of our baking tray with our meat. Now we're gonna to add to it with our clean hand. And I'll tell you what we're gonna add. Some bacon. And a nice healthy layer of bacon. Now we're gonna add our jalapenos. A little bit of cheese. Now we're gonna take our uh, our French onion dip and put that on top. And do just a little drizzle. Easy does it. Alright, so YouTube. There she be so far. Now I'm gonna put all the meat on top of that. Alright, back to our meat packing. Look at that, YouTube. We had barely just enough room to fit our meatloaf. We had some hiccups, but we're getting there. Look at that sexy and mother loving. There we go. Preheated to 350. Top rack action. It's been in there for about 35 minutes now. Oh, fuck me. It's a lot of grease in here. Drain some of that out. Okay, so here's our bomb ass meatloaf. Yes, sir. Now, some people like to put ketchup on this, on their meatloaf, but we are going to be using Kraft honey, sweet honey barbecue sauce. Now that we got our barbecue sauce drizzled on top, I'm gonna pop it back in the oven. That's some good looking meatloaf. We're gonna drizzle that cheese with a little bit more of our Dean's French onion and bacon sauce. That's what's up. I did drain the grease, of course, before doing those two steps. Back into the oven it goes at 350. Looking fresh, YouTube. That cheese melted and caramelized. What is up, YouTube? We have the meatloaf, and I can't stop eating it. YouTube, this is legitimate comfort food. 
That barbecue sauce has a sweetness to it. That sweet complements the heat of the jalapenos. With all the ingredients, the jalapenos are dumbed down on the heat, but there's just enough spiciness to tingle your tongues. A really delicious, meaty treats, YouTube. Simply decadent. Want a cross section of where I cut it? Yes. Look at that sexiness, YouTube. That layer of bacon and cheese right there. Plus all that cheese and the sour cream and onion sauce on top. Popping with flavor, dude. Yeah. We got ourselves a badass Patreon video. I'm going to chug an entire can of Bang Energy and not a sponsor. This is a candy apple crisp. Not sure how it's going to taste, but we're about to find out with fall right around the corner. All right, here it goes. Uh, oh man, excuse me. Uh, you all know what's up, people. Can crush for all my awesome YouTube subscribers as well. All right. What up? So I got a uh, care package for some local fans. A drink, you say? Oh. oh, oh. And this is why the trolls are fucking jealous, King Cobra fam. How many fucking trolls get free alcohol in the mail? You feel me on that, YouTube? Okay, check that out. That is pimping. Sweet. I got a matching pair of goblets. You know what time it is, YouTube? It's drink combination time. We're going to pour ourselves... A beautiful drink combo in this here mug. Put the other one in the, fr in the cupboard. Thank you for the awesome cups. So thank you for the Doritos and the uh, goblets and the Crown Royal. That's what's up, dudes. Do that. All right. So for our drink combo, we're going to mix up some of this. Uh, yeah, we got we got Jared or Doritos soda. Yeah, we have it locally here. So yeah, if you want to send me something cool in the, in the care packages, the P.O. box is in the description box of my videos below. Shout out to Jared. Thank you for your $1 and your $30. He says, to help bail you out on your DoorDash, homie. Much love. Thank you very much, Jared. You have no idea, dude. Righteous. What's going on with you, YouTube? It's your boy, King Cobra, back at it with another video, man. Thank you to uh, Jared for uh, donating $4.22 to my Cash App. Cheers. Who wanted to see how the wands were made. While you're looking at it, bud, now, earlier I was getting frustrated with these because they were snapping on me. They're basically taking the point of it and then just... Now that I got to the thickness I want, I want to pick out a different chisel to give it a different shape. So let's go with this one right here. Which will create. Let's show you real quick when I get the handle carved out. Okay, let me show you real quick. See that, YouTube? Now we have a handle. Look at that. I can add some lines to it, too, to make it more defined. I like the way that handle looks. Now I like to use three different kinds of sandpaper YouTube. A really rough course and then not so rough. 
and then then the fine then the finer stuff. Okay, the handle is looking good. So now we're gonna move. But uh, I want to unplug the lathe for a second, just so I can vacuum up my mess. One second. There we go, we got it secured. Awesome. I'm trying to make a new wand for my collection that I can have for my costume this year for Halloween. And I keep breaking them every time I try to make them, so I'm like, yeah, well, hold on a second. The wands were pissing me off earlier, so I took a break. You know, freaking Campbell left. He was hanging out for a bit. Bullshit in the breeze watching YouTube with me. So I do apologize to Alex earlier if I was being melodramatic. Which I get like that when I get depressed, to be fair, but... Yeah. See, we're not even an hour into the video and the wand is nowhere near done. I'm gonna have something to drink on. I'm, I'm drinking on a soda pop right now because one, I'm out of alcohol, and two, I don't think it's smart to mix power tools with alcohol, but that's just me personally. Uh, if you wanna make uh, if you wanna make wands with a wood lathe, they're quite fun to make, but it takes practice, you know? Lord knows I went through so many of these wand wood pieces before I got to where I am right now. Well, you know, the ladies like a man who can work with his hands, huh? Yeah. You know, I'll find the right of a cisgendered female. It's going to keep being patient. It's alive and consenting. It's like making a wand. You can't just have it happen overnight. I mean, patience pays off, you two. snap completely on me. Oh boy. Luckily this one's savable, YouTube. At this point I'm not complaining. It didn't break on me right in the center like it has been, so there you go. Just like I said, this the break in this wand wasn't that bad. It's doable. I can make a wand out of it. Compared to what I have been going through today, I really am not complaining. Hmm. Watch the cell phone screen. Get this little end right here. I don't like how the end is shaped, but before we do that, I get the blade. Ouch. A good, a good sanding. The reason why I keep saying ouch is because of the fucking splinters that are sticking out of it. Much easier to do sanding these when they're on the lathe. There you have it, YouTube. One magic wand. Now it's not finished yet, so I'm gonna add paint to it or stain or whatever the fuck I feel like painting it. 
But out of all the last couple of wands I've been making, this one turned out the nicest. That's a good looking wand. There we are. Now you don't have to use painter's tape when you're painting it two different colors. But the reason why I'm doing it and practicing it like this is so that when I do paint it, it, it just has a nice clean line. You know what I'm saying, YouTube? So yeah, I'll go outside, uh, hit this side with some black spray paint, uh, let it dry, and then... But yeah, YouTube, uh, I'm not going to show you painting it on camera because you've seen me spray paint my wands how many times on YouTube back at my old place. Only difference here is I got to do that outside, which I don't mind spray painting the wands outdoors and all that. But there you go, YouTube. Um, that's basically took me an hour to make. That doesn't even include drying it. So a bare minimum of an hour to make, but I'll catch you later. YouTube, I'm gonna give a shout out to David. Thank you for your $100 donation to my PayPal. He writes, get yourself some groceries. And if they have it in your area, try Bird Dog Blackberry Whiskey. Hell yeah, I'll be sure to do that. Yeah, because uh, you want to talk all this mad shit, but guess what? All of my SSDI goes towards my rent. So once my rent is paid, if I want groceries or anything else, I got to work my job at YouTube for that. Yep. Nope. Oh. Yo, we got the goods. Oh. Now I ordered an extra large pizza with cheddar cheese, spinach, uh, jalapeno peppers, extra bacon, honey barbecue sauce, onions, and just the regular cheese. Big thank you to the fan who ordered some tactical soap. I got a $50... Uh, affiliate cash from my sponsorship slash affiliate ship. Oh, look at that sexiness. Oh, yes. Get, 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 yes, there we go. YouTube, this first bite is for the trolls who hate when I get pizza to eat. That's for all my awesome fans. Mm. Oh, that honey barbecue sauce, YouTube. Mm. YouTube not trying to be a pig, but that honey barbecue sauce is working for this pizza, dude. I got my plate. Oh, YouTube. This pizza is everything, dude. It's so good. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it's hot. Oh, dude, that first slice, fresh, hot, off the oven. Oh, YouTube, you have no flipping idea. That's some good pizza. But anyways, YouTube, cheers to my fans. Yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah, buddy, YouTube, we always do it how we do. Look at that. The Crown Royal Peach is back in session. I didn't get to try it last time it came out, but this time we definitely trying it. Subscribe for more. You have a lot of subscribers? Yes, I do. That's awesome. Yeah, buddy. Uh, pipe ash. There we are. So I have some G Fuel, the green lemonade flavor, and I mixed it with some Crown Royal Peach. So if you want a shout out, donate to my PayPal or Cash App, and I'll give you a, give you a shout out. Holy fuck, I got like $40 in my Cash App. Sweet. Daniel with a $1 donation for a little, a little too early to be drinking, Cobra. Eh, screw you. One of my closest friends just turned 71 yesterday, and so I was celebrating. 
This buddy of mine happens to be a Vietnam vet who served in the Marines. So if you got a problem with me going on a two-day binger to celebrate my friend's birthday, you can go fuck yourself. That's how life works. No disrespect to the queen, but, like, that's how it is, dude. You know, when no, no, I'm not trying to be disrespectful to the Queen of England, but like that's how it is, dude. You know, people when you, when you die, you're gonna have regrets. That's just how it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, I sincerely hope the Queen Elizabeth II reunited with her daughter, Princess Diana, and they reconciled their differences. Because when you're about to fucking die, that's the kind of shit you think about YouTube. It's, I could have done this better, or I could have done that, and then you're done. Dying is just like going to sleep, you know? It really is. It doesn't hurt to die. It's just like going to sleep and never waking up. I won the lottery. I donated a million dollars to Elton John's AIDS Foundation charity. Because people want to call me a homophobe, but it's like, oh, hey, look, Cobra can actually sing like some people. Stop, YouTube. It's a Friday. Chilling like a rock star villain. Yeah, buddy, it's Friday. Appreciate uh, Alex coming over and bringing some alcohol. It's past time right now. <laughs> All right. All right. Hang on just a second. You guys know him. You guys love him. You guys are obsessed with him. He is the one and the only King Cobra. Oh, oh wait a minute. I have sound Happy Friday, you Wait. crazy bastards. Courtesy of... Happy fucking Friday. What is that? What are you drinking? Rumpa Mints. Oh, my God. You're going to be fucked up. Uh, the schnapps, courtesy of Warlord Campbell, who now prefers to be called Sasha. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, Wait. Can we elaborate on this for a second? So Warlord, the guy who I, who when you have a friend over, that's Warlord, right? Yeah, yeah. He's been drinking. Uh, he went from, he's, yeah. he's, he's Sasha? As, as a he, she. A shim. A he, she, yeah. He, she, it. Do you think, do you think this is like a, uh, do you think this he's being serious? Like he's really identifying, he's like just coming out? Are you? Yes. Did you see this coming? Mm -mm. Well, as Anna sick, I wish she assured me he isn't, you know, I'm cool with it outside of that. Are you ready? Are you ready to watch the rest? Of he just essentially Minnie Manson just yeah, said you were a big fruit. Stuff for like several hours, man. You I know. brought the alcohol. I know you. That was just giving you crap. Calm down. Oh, no, man. you know what? Yeah, you want to call yourself a male exactly. and identify Good as bestie. a? Don't Good fucking bestie. touch that. Good best. Oh my god, man. <laughs> oh my Harrison. <laughs> At least the community, oh, we're coming after you. Hold on, my folks. Hold on. Oh my God, dude. And I have spoken. How's that done? Okay. A literal. Hey, Satan, he says. Yeah. About this fucking loser, dude. A literal jack shit. You dumb. You know what shit. kills me about this is I don't go out of my way to attack my fellow goths on YouTube. To be quite honest, yeah. I the smoke because that was fucking retarded as fuck. Yeah, we're on camera though, so I know. Sasha, uh, you go by Sasha now, right? So what of it? Okay, well, can you get on camera so I can meet you formally? I would like to say hello to you. I don't know who you are. I was just kidding. 
when I uh, when I when I messaged or when I said that you were when I told you to shut up, I was just I was joking and I apologize. What the fuck? Okay. How much have you had to drink tonight tonight, Sasha? 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 Uh it's for me to know and you to find out. No, I'm good. Thank you though. All right. So Cobes, what do you have to say about this? So she uh so um do you think that he's just do you think he's just trying to fucking pick a fight with you just so his name will be in your mouth and like what do you have a response? Can you yeah. please give him a response? Because I'm gonna have him on my show at some point to uh the to this live stream and but it was dead and he's gone on live since then but i don't want to show that video because i don't want to risk redoxing you but i was thinking maybe we could call call cool taste on messenger and find out what the fuck he's thinking why he did that yeah i'd like to know because like i would never dox cool taste on purpose nor especially his address dude that's fun ow you all right dude Oh, my God, this old cold as fuck when I outside. Holy fuck, dude. Is he okay? He sounds like he's not he's, doing well. He's fine. It's just a little cold out, more cold than he expected. Oh, yeah, it was cold as fuck. My nipple okay. broke. You want to see him? No, I don't. I know you don't. Okay. I was asking on social media. No, they don't want to see it either, dude. I guarantee you they don't. <laughs> Warlord, does Warlord have a family? Am I correct in remembering that? That he has, like, he's got, you have kids, right, Warlord? I don't have a biological family. I have a descended family. Thank you. Oh, okay. Have you come out, have you come out as identifying as a female to your family? Yes, I have. How did that go for you? Did you have a good experience? I got even more fucking banned by the family. That's sad. Dude. Even more banned? His family wasn't very accepting of it. To put oh, it no. Yeah, it's sad. We're not. Warlord, when did you start identifying with the female? 2015. What? Can you, can you like, describe what that was like? Hurtful. I saw any camera, too. Are you, um, have you looked into what the surgery entails and, and, um, the hormones and stuff? Have you started yeah, to take no, the hormones? Hormone replacements. I've already had hormone replacement. I've already been up for six months. I lactate. Yep. I'm sorry. The best. So wait, are you going to be, a, when you transition to a female, are you going to be a lesbian or are you going to be, uh, or what's going to be your preference in, in a mate? I'm going to find him, feel him, fix him, fuck him, and forget him. Okay. Same as always. There you go. What the fuck is this, bro? So you, woke, so you woke up to me talking to Crystal would be a more appropriate response, though. No. Hey, she but. started making female comments as soon as I woke up. Give me a chance to fucking warm up, dude. I'm a diesel engine. Listen, here. Sasha, I need you on your fucking game, man. I need you on it. I need you to wake up fresh and bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. I'm bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Bring it on, bitch. What is all over your shirt? Did you, what is this? Is this a stain? What, what is that's, all of this all over your shirt? That's grease from alcohol. I'm sorry. Um, Dude, grease from. I just woke up to this guy talking to you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Warlord. My own experience is not yours. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, Sasha, Sasha. It looks like somebody is, it looks like somebody's warming up. Cobes, you're, you're going to have your hands full. I'm a uh, Sasha. What? Can you, can you get to, can you get the camera so I can see you and I can talk to you? Like I can look at you when I'm talking to you. When, when you. I, yeah, I, okay, you're a little bit, you could back up just a little bit. 
I want to make sure Cobes is still in there. I have a secret because, uh, well, I could go for one too. Hold on. Uh, Josh could introduce because I woke up to this shit. So this is kind of a. Uh, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to, you guys will take a five minute break and I'll play a video. I'll, I'll put like, uh, cool tastes video on for right now while we take a I'm five minute break. I'm not nice to people anymore. Okay. Sometimes it's not easy. Don't make fun of me. All right. I, I would never make fun of you, Sasha. I adore you. I think that you're amazing. Okay. You're, we all do. You're saying all the right words so far, so I will yeah, take yeah. you on. Thank you. I appreciate right. that so much. Yes, yes. yes, yes. This? Oh. Don't worry about it, man. We're not going to talk about it because we're on camera again. Nah. You're my friend. That's why you give me fucking smoke and what not, and I come over and share with you. Yeah, we we guys are going up from room at the court. Yeah, we do. We got we got a little bit of pepper by left. I mean, that'd be cool. I mean, I'd rather have CD smoke or fucking creative or whatever. Yeah, man. Um, versus the fucking room at the court because I was kind of, I was kind of rough. Sasha is one of those people that you just almost can't help yourself. You just kind of want to poke them. Are you gonna be mad at me if I poke a little bit? Dude, don't fucking touch me, dude. Get off of me, seriously. Uh oh. You quit trying to touch me, dude. I've asked you nicely several times. I was just poking around. Okay, I don't want that. Stop. You're out. Oh, you're fucking joking, dude. Use it up a bit. <laughs> I moved your point, didn't I? Jesus <laughs> Christ. Ow. Ow. It hurts. Sasha, you gotta respect the boundaries, girl. Thank you. I I just want to say to you, Cobes, I don't I am obviously I'm not gonna presume to know what you're thinking, but I'm kind of like picking up on it. And I just want to say to you, what you're feeling right now is 100 percent normal. It makes it a little bit harder because you are under scrutiny and it's like one wrong thing you're gonna that you might say is gonna fucking make you, you know, people are gonna come down on you with the hate and call you a transphobe or whatever. But I gotta say I'm in the long run here in this state. Me. I am the trans. I know the trans folk. I, I don't think anybody's saying you're not, but the yeah. image is not I, matching. It's so strange. Well, I call me Alexander to do it in a loving way. Please. Call you what? Alexander. Okay. Alexander. Call oh, Sasha Alexander. Do it in a loving way is all he's asking. So why did you pick the name Sasha? I'm very curious about that. It's a very my sassy name. name. It's my name in Russian. Alexander means Sasha in Russian. That's what Alex said. Mimi Manson, everybody! All right, hold on. I'm going to mute them really quick. Hey, uh, Sasha, you need to learn to respect the boundaries, buddy. You got you can't keep on like getting all over him. We got to respect boundaries. Yeah, it's kind of where we're uh yeah, but you keep on doing it. You're making him so uncomfortable. It's making me uncomfortable. I'm at the edge of my seat. Keep your hands to yourself, girlfriend. Um. Oh my. You need to stay six feet apart, buddy. COVID is a thing still. You need to. Hey, don't touch. Hey. Dude, please quit touching me, okay? I'm asking nicely. Uh, I'm pretty much out of G fuel, dude. Oh, yeah, but my snaps and all that shit. Yep. I got more liquor. You ordered some? Okay, uh, I don't got any money to order anymore, dude. And G Fuel? I'm out of G Fuel, too, dude. You got Moon Rocks? You got Moon Rocks, right? Yeah, we got a little bit for later. Oh, okay. that, uh, that, that works. Let's see. Sean is just a dummy with the big Woody now. This is going to take me forever to do this. Gothi is on her way. Uh... 
dude, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> fucking God. You are my, uh, you are my single girl, friend. Son of my way, but you are my sure. friend always. And it will always be that way. Okay? You want me to shower you in Connors? <laughs> I will shower you in Connors for you, bro. Wait, shower me in what? Wait, what the fuck? Shower what? 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 Free um, so we have another we have another super chat. We have Melissa, the boomer dark side of the tune. She asked this shit and no, she got she it, right? Not, dude. I don't want the shit you're throwing at me, dude. Like, stop. You don't want. No, I don't. Okay. She does. She no, she does not. Shit. No, she but it, I don't want I don't want you to upset Cobes. That's that's my biggest thing. Well then she should shut the fuck up. Oh, my. It's an uncomfortable thing, dude. Like it's a fucking uncomfortable thing. Here you are looking at a man who has facial hair even and and, and you have to be respectful of his what he identifies with what she identifies oh, with. Sasha's trans, dude. Just quit throwing condoms at me. Jesus fucking Christ. I you that is your your own masculinity. Um, official King Cobra JFS Dr. Squatch affiliate uh, sent two dollars and said Josh did Ellen like her katana. I don't know what they're talking about. I don't know who this Ellen chick is. What? Yeah. Don't am I fucking serious? I'm new, you guys. I'm fucking new. You want to keep talking shit? I'll keep counting you down, bitch. I saw that, Bimbo. We talked about that, yeah. I don't know. I feel like um, I'm not going to read that. Mm -mm. Okay, Josh, I'm going to put you out of your misery. I think we should go ahead and end this. Um, she wants to talk about it. Where's my alcohol? Where is that? You, you drank it all, dude. You drank it all, remember? No, I have none left. You, you can always get some more tomorrow, dude. It's no big deal. deal with their bullshit tonight? When there's nothing open? Don't let it get to you, dude. It's not Still worth it. Alcohol. Okay, Who's I get that. that but like, fussing right about now. it right now isn't going to make the liquor stores open, dude. I know what it is. I have had a lot of different characters on my streams in the past. This definitely takes the cake. This is very, very interesting. I feel very bad for Josh. Super bad for Josh. I want you, YouTube. Now, one of my fans sent me some uh, stuff to try to regrow my hair, so I'm experimenting with that. We'll see the results in a month's time. Anyways, if you saw Crystal Roberts' stream, um... Yeah, it froze up. Her internet was being weird. So was mine. Alex left. Okay. He was being super obnoxious and not respecting my personal space. Now, he was drunk and, you know, I don't care if Alex is gay or trans or whatever. It's just, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't, pu don't push boundaries, dude. You know, it is what it is. Now, I didn't do anything. We didn't have a huge fight or anything. He just he left. And I tried to hand him his backpack the second time he came back. And he refused to take it. Basically told me, fuck you, and then left. I'm like, okay, whatever, dude. That is what it is. But you just, you know what I'm saying? You find out who your real friends are in the end, I guess. What up, YouTube? Shout out to, uh... Very special fangirl. Thank you for the twenty dollars in my Cash App. Madison says, "Here's five dollars on Cash App to hop back on Crystal Stream." The internet was being wonky, and I was dealing with Alex Campbell being drunk. Which, no. Tomorrow is nine eleven, and I have a couple of beers. I want to drink. Well, howdy, YouTube. It is uh, the 21st anniversary of 9-11. And I'll never forget, we have some drink. 
And we also got uh, a six pack of Bud Lights. So, uh, yeah. Grab ourselves one of these first. <laughs> Cheers. I would legitimately, if I could never build my dream house, I would, I would if I could, in the sense of, think about this. If someone told me you could prevent 9-11 from happening, but you could never build your dream house, I'd do it. Recognize when we see old glory flying. There's a lot of men dead. So we America is just not the country you want to piss off. Sleep in peace at night when we lay down our heads. And there we go. Beautiful YouTube. There's my beautiful BC Rich Warlock Revenge series. Ain't that pretty? Yes, very pretty. <clears throat> I still have the spell cast here, but that's just beside the point. But another one we could play. So, yes, I'm going to smash this entire six pack and possibly the other one. Get a little Sunday swifted. Now it's been 21 years since 9-11 happened. And we're having some 21 and up, if you know what I'm saying. Because alcohol is for 21 and up unless you live in the UK. They're drinking their drinking laws are a little bit younger over there with that. So unexpectedly, the uh, live stream cut off after 15 minutes. I didn't realize it till after I gotten down to like the last of my beers on the six pack at least. <laughs> yeah. Also got a four pack of this stuff right here. I'm not gonna let the haters stop me from making videos. I refuse. Hope you're all having a beautiful Sunday. Make sure it's still going so it doesn't cut out on me again. That was horseshit, dog. Like, the speech I had was on point, and in very fitting, to say the least. I started jamming out some Beatles on YouTube, and then I made the comment. I was like, you know, I might be frustrated with uh, my dating life, but outside of that, it doesn't, have to, it doesn't have to pertain to dating or sex. It's just not enough love in the world. And when I say that, it's not anything to do with sex or relationships. People are just assholes to each other. That was the whole point I made. I literally am about to chug seven Bud Lights officially with this one, plus a four-pack of whatever I got here. You know, hashtag never forget. So my trolls are probably laughing their asses off like that or it was just a shitty internet connection or something. I don't know. Well, I'm going to cut Cobra's stream off at like 15 minutes just to fuck with him. No I'll show him. You better not go live again, an asshole. No way he's live right now. Oh. Only thing sadder than my trolls is really 9-11. And children dying in St. Jude's and that kind of thing. St. Jude. What up, YouTube? It's your boy Cobra. We got some little Caesars for our three dipping cups. We have Buffalo Ranch, the butter garlic, garlic butter. And some cheesy jalapeno sauce. Now, all three of these sauces are going on our personalized Domino's pizza. Oh, look at that sexiness. What we have here, YouTube, is a stuffed crust Little Caesars pizza with bacon as the main topping. And for additional toppings, we have bacon, jalapenos, and onions. Let's add our sauces, shall we? 
We're going to start off with our garlic butter. Now, YouTube, I want you to take a look at the sexiness. The cheese, the buffalo sauce. Oh, the garlic butter right on top of that stuffed crust cheese, bacon. Mmm. That's good pizza. What's up, YouTube? So I'd like to extend an apology to uh, Prince Harry. I got you mixed up with Queen Elizabeth's husband, who's already passed away. I, I did not know that. So my uh, rip Queen Elizabeth video kind of thing, you know. Yeah, I felt like a dick for getting them mixed up. Once I realized I got it mixed up, I was like, well, shit. In my defense, though, I was a little bit drunk from celebrating a buddy of mine's birthday. And then the queen died, so I continued drinking to celebrate her legacy. And then, boom. <coughs> uh, son of a bitch. Uh, I didn't want to get beer all over my screen. God damn it. Let's try that again. That was real smooth. Some for the queen and for the victims of 9 11. What up, YouTube? Happy birthday to Courtney. Get you some. And get some shout outs. Obviously, shout out to Courtney at birthday. That's what the freak is up. Uh, Dakota, thank you for your $15 donation to Cash App for You're the Man, Cobra. What up, YouTube? I hope you're all having a fantastic Tuesday. I really can't complain. One of my fans donated money for me to get a case of beer. And I'm like, well, I don't want to disappoint the fans. Shoot, what's up? What it do? Hold up. That's what it do, YouTube. Four loco USA flavor. Let's see what it do, YouTube. Walking while I talk with you. Hold up. Oh, that is fucking good. And stuff. Sometimes it's beautiful, like what you just saw. That was unscripted. Uh, that was natural, which I love natural. I don't like um, coerced or scripted type stuff because out here, you don't know what the fuck you're going to get. Oh, guess what? So, I had some donations uh, a few days ago, and I was like, where the fuck did my donations go? Uh, it's only like seven bucks, but it's still seven bucks. And I happened to look at my merch uh, website, and and behold, there's seven dollars. And um, I'm kind of fucked. I'm kind of fucked. 20 bucks, or should I say withdraw 20 bucks to my bank account, so, um, at least I have $7 there, which ain't but bad. I do have, um, enough to buy two beers, if that, in my, uh, bank account, but I'm actually trying to save up to buy some, uh, uh, rolling tobacco, uh, papers, and uh, toilet paper. I need some toilet paper. Hi. Uh, how are you? Pretty good. You I'm filming for a reality show. I'm trying to get a. I'm trying to get a. Um, I'm trying to get cast members. <laughs> yeah. Is it okay if, uh, if I approach? Lyle Taylor on YouTube. Lyle Taylor, Taylor on YouTube. Is it okay if I approach? I, I I do live streams. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Is it okay if I put it on to you or? Um, oh shit! You doing a drone? Yeah. Just I was looking for uh, 
discrepancies in the uh, Circuitry, so. Oh, hey. Flight controller and all that. My name is Jose. Uh, my YouTube channel is called uh, uh, Making My Way in America. Hey, man, that's a pretty nice car. I know. Uh, how much did you get for it? Uh, only a thousand bucks. A thousand bucks? Uh, Who did you buy from? The guy down the road, he was a pretty nice farmer. He, farmer, huh? He, yeah, he owns his own farm and everything. Well, so it's, a, it, it's a farmer vehicle, huh? Oh, yeah. A beater, huh? Yeah. It's seen its taste. I bet it did, sir. <laughs> there you go. It's yeah. Hey, bro. <laughs> hey, bro. Hell yeah. So, what is your show about? Uh, furries. Alright. Explain. You, you never heard of what a furry is? Yes, sir. Okay. These people that, like, dress in animal costumes? Oh, like the foxtails and shit. Yes, that's furry, exactly. Have you heard of the foxtails? No, I'm sorry. Never heard of Never have. I'm sure you heard of Comic Con. And there's people beat up and others pushing the stroller. So, can I ask you, um, what type of furry are you? Um, a touch angel dragon. What's that? Can you show me a picture of some sort? So, uh, the guy that's on this guy right here next to me, this is what he is. Wild Dutch Angel Dragon. Wild Dutch Angel Dragon. That's a furry. Uh oh. Anonymous sent two dollars as a tell Scrapper Steve who said hi. Scrapper King Steve. Cobra JFS always wins. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't even Scrapper Steve? Well, that's what they dumb me as. That's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, <laughs> yeah, we should hang out, man. Seven plus six. Twelve bucks said nope. I don't have enough to uh, withdraw some beer. What up, YouTube? It's your boy Cobra back at it with another video. So. We have in my hands a delicious peach. Someone challenged me on Cash App to eat a piece of fruit and call my dad on camera and tell him I love him. And they said they'd give me a hundred bucks for it. So here goes nothing. Mm. Good peach. It's a peach, not an apple. They did not pay me in advance, and no, my dad does not get a cut of it. He doesn't really need it. He already has a job, his own job. This is what I do for a living. I make YouTube videos and sell T-shirts and tactical soap and magic wands. I'll deliver my half of the bargain, so if they deliver on their half, cool. What's up, man? Oh, hey, Dad, just wanted to call and say I love you. Well, thanks, bud. I love you, too. What are you doing at house? Uh, streaming. Someone offered me 100 bucks to uh, stream myself eating a piece of fruit and calling you and saying I love you. Well, that's bizarre as hell. So how's it going, man? I'm in Ireland right now. Oh, it's going pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Haven't seen you in a few weeks. I made a new wand. It's pretty sick. Yeah? Okay. How many, uh, you filled out the rest of that wood, or you just made a couple? Uh, I've, I've broken a couple trying to make them, and I made one for my costume this year, and so I'll, I'll be doing that after I get done streaming. Yeah. All right, man. Well, I'm in Ireland. I'm just getting ready to go to bed. we got to go to the bus in the morning, so. All right. When are you coming home? Uh, shit. We'll leave. Uh, we head to our America tomorrow. Well, there you go. How, how, you like it, how you like it, Ireland? Oh, it's great crack, as always. Oh, yeah, I bet. But anyways, uh, I'll be home in a week or so, because i got time in, in North Dakota then. So we'll get to go when I get home. Okay, good, because i got to go to the P.O. Box and stuff. Oh, yeah, I definitely got to do that. It's probably getting pretty full. Yeah. yeah. All right, man. Love you. Love you, Devin. Bye-bye. Bye. He'll get home safe. I'm not worried about it. My whole family will. 
Anyways, YouTube, there it is. Tube. So, uh, yeah. Fuck the trolls. <laughs> I tried to call the number back. Like, hey, I delivered on my half of the bargain. Where's your half? You know? This number is no longer in working numbers. Yeah, whatever, dude. Tage, thank you for donating $10 for the uh, Cash App Challenge. Although, if you are the person who asked for it, I believe we agreed upon $100, but it is what it is. It just shows you, it just shows you I, I rule the trolls' lives, dude. And then that they're jealous. So, YouTube, officially, what what is it, January 8th of next year, Joe Biden could sign into effect a bill that would prevent the sale of a lot of firearms. And if he does sign that bill, I only got one favor to ask. Don't freak out about it, man. Okay, because you got to think, what's more important, ending mass shootings or having your little pew-pew sticks? Unfortunately, that doesn't stop anything. All it does is, you know, cause people to panic. It doesn't, because all the guns you buy prior to January 8th are going to be grandfathered in, so it doesn't really ban anything. But here's my solution, YouTube. Instead of banning firearms, why don't we offer people counseling and start putting metal detectors everywhere? You know? Because banning these weapons isn't going to stop the ones that are grandfathered in from being resold. Ah, what the fuck is up, YouTube? I hope you're all having a beautiful Sunday. I want to give a shout out to Dylan. Thank you for your $1 donation in Cash App and a circle of protection for your buddy Kyle. So, Moti B. What up, Cobra fam? We got ourselves a brand new drink combo, which involves oh, some E&J peach brandy. But speaking of my trolls, my trolls are accusing me of stalking a certain female, and it's complete bullshit. It just so happens that this certain female's parents like hanging out with me. And to me, it's about me and the parents' friendship. It's not about me and the and their daughter, you know, I can't help it if her daughter, if they're if the, if the chicken questions parents like hanging out with me. I'm not trying anything to be quite honest with you, and I've pretty much left her alone since the whole bite sized cobra bullshit went down, you know. But can I help it if her dad likes hanging out with me? No, I cannot. And I quote, Josh, get your smoky badass down here. This is Walt. Bye. Cheers. It's just, it ain't right, dude. There's, there's senior citizens. Walt's a badass Vietnam veteran who contracted Agent Orange. Okay, he's a Marine who was a sniper for our fucking country. And you little fucking cockbag sit there and harass him and his fucking family. Dude, my buddy Walt did not contract Agent Orange as a Vietnam vet just to have a bunch of fucking asshole trolls bother him you know what it does not fucking matter what ellen does when she shows up to her mom and dad's i'll tell you this right now if i'm hanging out with walt and angie and ellen shows up i completely ignore her of age ass i don't even talk to her i don't look at her i don't address her i pretty much pretend like she's not there the reason why angie and walt like hanging out with me is because i'm a good dude i'm a solid friend and despite my feelings for Ellen, I'm able to back off and play it cool. So go fuck yourselves, dude. And when people ask me about Ellen, I'm going to be like, who, Ellen DeGeneres? I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. And then you try not to be a creep, and then you get labeled one anyways. That's what pisses me off about, about being a guy sometimes. You know, just... You're just a stalker and a creep stereotype. Fuck that shit. True story. I had a really hot, hot chick I went to high school with by the name of Alicia Rohde. And uh, back in the day, she'd accused me of shit that I wasn't doing. And then I ran into her a couple years later. And she goes, shit, that's Saunders. 
I wish I wouldn't have rejected him. I'm like, yeah, you're always saying that because I'm a famous YouTuber and because you realize I'm not that bad of a guy after all, huh? Like, you know what I'm saying, YouTube? One second. Put on my new pie high hat. Ah, there we go. Like, pretty girls are a dime a dozen. How many of them are hot, goth, and into the same shit you're into? You know, that's just the thing of it. Put $100 in my fucking PayPal or Cash app, and I'll make a video of me brushing my teeth. Now, I don't have a problem with alcohol because I've gone several days without drinking it despite having some in my fridge. So I have self-control over whether or not I drink alcohol. Oh, here's the best part of it, dog. My trolls have tried to get me kicked out of my new apartment here. It's not going to work. You want to know why? Because my landlord supports my fucking videos. He pretty much told me, I'm going to renew your lease just to stick it to your fucking asshole trolls. And I'm like, yes! Sweet! No, it's like, back the fuck off, dude. It makes me laugh when my trolls are like sitting here texting me from burner numbers, burn, fake fucking burner, burn, burner numbers. You know, they, they pretend to be Ellen, and they're just like, hey, 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 Cobra, quit stalking me and my family. I'm like, oh, my God, dude. If anyone's stalking anyone, it's my fucking YouTube trolls. You know, when I was in my early 20s, people were like, dude, if you keep eating like shit, you're going to start to lose your hair. And I was like, bullshit, I ain't going to start losing my hair. And now it's like, ooh, it hasn't caused me to change my lifestyle. But I have cut down on eating fast food to a point. I still enjoy it on occasion. The ring of fire, the ring of fire, the ring of fire. Gotta wonder if I'm Johnny Cash reincarnated shit with like a touch of like Elvis Presley and Randy Rhodes. And a little bit of Doc Holliday and Beethoven just kind of. Dude, my theory is on reincarnation or, you know, they're out there, but that makes sense once I explain it. And I don't got time to explain it right now. So we're gonna focus on the, the vocal covers. One sport I'd really like to try is the wingsuits. You know where the dudes are like flying through the air with the wingsuits and they got the parachute on their back and they're just flying through canyons and shit like that. Yeah, I want to do that. That looks like fun, dude. Look at, look at me now. I'm a Super Saiyan. If there was a way to combine skeet shooting with the wingsuit sport where you got the wingsuit on and it could lock into place while you're blasting clays out of the sky with your shotgun, now that'd be a fun goddamn sport if you could find a way to make that happen safely. There'd be so many calculations you'd have to do to make that a safe and realistically legitimate sport. We call that extreme skeet shooting. You're flying through the air and blasting clays as they come up, like, <clears throat> motherfucker. So it's that's that just adds a coolness factor for me. It's like, hey, cool. I'm eighty percent of what Ozzy is. <sighs> like Ozzy Osbourne and Danny Schultz are both British. Kind of here, fly. Oh. You pump it, and then when you pump it, like your, your little crosshairs, like right here and right here, pop out. And it's just like, you know, you do realize, <coughs> holy shit, that I have more fans than I do YouTube trolls. So if the trolls keep it up, they're going to get their shit rocked. Like, you think watching me get swatted was terrifying. 
that's nothing compared to what's in store for my YouTube trolls. And that's not a threat. That's a fucking promise. And I'm not going to be the one to fucking do it. Because my fucking fans, I love my true YouTube fans. But some of my YouTube fans are more psychotic than my trolls. And they happen to be big supporters of me. So it's like, if you really want to keep testing the waters, see what fucking happens, dude. He pulls out that black acoustic guitar. And I'm like, <coughs> I got a black acoustic guitar. It's a Fender tea bucket. It's got a built-in tuner. The tuner's battery's dead, so I don't got a battery in it. However, I can tune guitar by ear, so I don't need a tuner. <coughs> <laughs> I appreciate the stream not crapping out on me while I'm trying to fucking record. Sweet, it's not freezing up. Thank you, Lucifer. I renounce Jesus Christ in the name of Lucifer. There's so many fucked off problems with the world in my own personal life that like the idea of fucking up on a song, it just, and like, I cope with it, you know, a lot of people couldn't handle putting themselves out there and getting critiqued for everything that they do from the way they fart to the way they breathe. And it's like, you're going to sit there and like, oh my God, I fucking hate Cobra's wet and juicy fart videos. What a fucking toddler. I can't believe Cobra fucking posted that. That's so gross. That's why you can't get fucking laid. And I'm like, dude, chicks think farts are funny too, man. You just got to find the right chick. Mm. Watch it with the energy balls, Mr. Cobra. I saw that when I was doing it earlier, like a little brief flash of energy. It's like, whoa! I don't want to be up all night singing songs, but I'll sing a couple more songs for the video. And then by 10 o'clock, like 10.05, I want to quiet down. Just because, you know, it's Sunday. People got to go to work on Monday. And, like, this job is that I have, you know, it's all the time, I'm not trying to be a dick. But like being a famous YouTuber is a 24 hour job, dude. You're sitting there like dead asleep and then some asshole texts you at four o'clock in the morning. Hey, asshole, go to bed. You better go to bed, boy. And it's like, dude, maybe you need to get a fucking life because I was trying to fucking sleep. This is the wand I made on my uh, wood lathe for the YouTube video. Because people are sitting there calling me too stupid. Because, okay, me and my dad make wands together. The first thing the trolls would do is like, oh, you're too stupid to make wands by yourself. And it's like, you're just jealous because I have a father who takes interests in what I do. No, but I'm not allowed to smoke in my uh, apartment. And quite frankly, I don't care. I really do not care if I'm allowed to smoke in my apartment. Kind of the same fucking argument I have with myself about Ellen, you know? Like, Ellen and I don't want to date me. That's her loss. I'm not allowed to smoke in my apartment. Fuck it. Who cares? It could be worse, you know? You know what I'm saying? It's delicious. And then, like, I go and order a big old party sub from the goddamn store. And, like, the party sub contains your your basic food groups. Meat, vegetables, dairy, and grain. Everything pretty much minus sweets. 
you know, when people are like, oh, uh, Cobra eats like shit. And I'm like, no, Cobra's the shit. And all you can do is suck his dick a little bit harder. Because I don't need a stadium with 10 million people sold out to perform. I really don't, you know. Just people who are like, hey, you know what? Cobra's going live and I still want to watch. Because that bastard makes me laugh. God damn it, I hate Cobra, but he makes me laugh. I'm just trying to exist in my own personal life. I don't care if people crush on me back or if, like, fans kiss my ass. Like, you know what I'm saying, YouTube? I'm not trying to be a dick about it, but, it, like, it, it gets to a point where it's fucking frustrating. And people just treat you like a lazy piece of shit who collects SSDI. And, like, all you fucking do is sit on your ass and make videos. And it's like, yeah, but what if your videos piss off the right and the wrong people? All of a sudden, now it's not so fucking lazy, is it? It's all groovy, man. I'm not too drunk to fucking watch straight line. Hold up. Start feeling like that. It's like, whoa, Cobra, you're feeling too groovy, man. Fucking tone it down a bit. Yeah. There you go. See that? After all the alcohol and drink, let's give myself a test. Watch out. All right, I'm walking a straight line. Mm. You know, I'm trying to find the fucking lid for that son of a bitch. One second. Expects me to be the fucking autistic retard. Durr. Oh, if we lose it, is it in this cushion or his chair? That's just. Ah, we'll find it. We'll find it. It's not underneath. Oh my fucking god, dude. The worst fucking time. Where it's like, hey, the juice on your drink combo is going to disappear. And it's going to make you look like a piece of shit. That's what pisses me off about life. It's like, okay, I don't mind dealing with the bullshit to a degree. But it's like, oh, hey. And like, you know, the drink wasn't that big of a deal. Because, oh, fuck yeah, there's the fucking, hold up one second. And... This is just like singing Misery Loves Company. You know, when you're playing Satan's Bell, and it's like Misery Loves Company. Pretty much the same concept, but... <coughs> oh, fucking hell. <sighs> Excuse me a second. <sighs> Black metal boggleum. Oh, that is so gross, Ew. dude.
Hi there. I'm not gonna hurt ya. Oh, dude, look at that. Beautiful. That is majestic as fuck. That's so beautiful. That's a big old deer. <laughs> he is. A big deer. Oh, this is gonna make awesome footage for my YouTube for my YouTube channel. Oh, look, there's another one. The other one's not so big, but that fucker's got a huge rock. Oh, there's three of them. There's a bunch of them. Hi there. They're all just chilling. This one's real cool. Yes, it is. These guys over here are like, I'm out of here. <laughs> this one right here is fucking... There's three big bucks right there, buddies. Yes, sir. Yeah, look at these guys just cruise. Hell yeah. It's called Wyoming. Wyoming, <laughs> Wyoming bucks. Cheers. You ever hunt in Wyoming? <laughs> that dog. Oh, the deer heard, heard the dogs. They're like, we are out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to uh, CMG. Says, turn off the chat in your next live stream. Fuck the trolls. I agree. Thank you for your $4.20 donation. And if you want chat turned back on, well, then you know what to do. You're going to have to grease up the old PayPal or the uh, <laughs> Cash app. Otherwise, it's staying off. Again, Prince Harry, I'm sorry I got you confused with the Queen's husband. I feel like a dick for that, to be honest. Oh, it's raining outside. I could smell the, the September rain waffling in through the window. Oh, it's magnificent. Give the video a like if you hate sickos and you love the smell of rain. I'm going to get like three wands made, get them colored and shiny, and then I'm going to list them on Etsy. I would have done that today, but I had like a huge, big ass burrito. You know, I had one of my Viva La Mexico burritos that that I love to get at Poncho's, and like I went into a food coma and I took a nap. <laughs> on a side note, if I go to customize a burrito on DoorDash, if I go to custom make a burrito on DoorDash and DoorDash doesn't charge me extra for it, that's not my fault. Just putting that out there. No, it's the truth. If DoorDash doesn't charge me extra for customizing the burrito, how was that my fucking fault? Like, and to be fair, I literally paid like $42 for two big ass fucking burritos. When the burritos themselves are like eight, nine bucks, maybe 10 with all the ingredients added to it. So that didn't cover the fee for the extra ingredients. If I make it to um, November without getting laid, it'll officially be a five-year dry spell. And instead of being depressed about it, I'm going to laugh at it and celebrate. Because if y'all don't want to fuck King Cobra JFS, that is your goddamn loss, not mine. Yeah. I should be getting uh the rest of my Halloween costume in um next month. Yeah. Mr. Fisher, thank you for your four dollar twenty cent donation. Well, my account at my bank is kind of in the negative. So I want to take this $11 and boop, we're going to transfer it. That'll give me $10.58 towards getting it out of the negative. Sweet. The biggest thing that screws me on, on that is just like I order DoorDash when I have the money. And then like DoorDash doesn't process the payment. Until like two, three days later, kind of thing. So, like, yeah. And that's just how the internet works when you're doing stuff like Uber Eats and 
DoorDash and that kind of thing. Hmm. Well, cool. Now it's only $39. $39.31 in the negative. That's easy enough to make. <clears throat> I'm like, oh, yeah, that bee's getting a little drunk. I want to take that combo inside. I don't like getting stung by bees, to be honest, and I love animals, so I was happy to share. It was kind of cool, though, watching that bee look at me and then kind of crawl into the glass. And speaking of animals, <laughs> check out my deer video. Me and my buddy Ian are just sitting on the tailgate of his truck having a beer and sipping on some whiskey, you know. And, like, three big-ass deer come walking up to us. And I'm like, oh, do I have my cell phone? Yes. And I filmed it. I'm like, dude. Yeah. This next one is a lovely royal blue one with a little seahorse in the middle. I think that is actually really cute. So this one's definitely the most revealing of the bunch i like what do you see the bikini on this chick right now yeah i got in trouble for dancing in a cock european cock holster what the fuck dude people are like did warlord campbell get arrested i don't know and quite frankly i don't care he royally pissed me off last time he was over here hanging out with me and shit like, okay, I appreciate when Alex comes over and he brings over alcohol. Like, I appreciate him contributing like that. But, like, then he has to remind me of it when he gets a little bit drunk. And it's like, cool. Like, if I buy alcohol and I share it with people, I don't shove it in their face. You know, like, you know, Alex Campbell, no offense, but he gets annoying sometimes, dude. He's always got to be like the center of attention he's always going to have some crazy story to tell and it's just like dude just be yourself okay you, you don't have to try to impress me to be my friend you know but if alex campbell ended up in jail that's his own goddamn stupidity like people are telling me how did you hear about warlock getting arrested again and i'm like no quite frankly i don't care because I asked the dude to quit fucking touching me, and he's so fucking drunk he won't stop. And I'm like, Get the fuck out, dude. You know? He left with his shit, and then when he came back, I don't even remember what the fuck he said half the, after that. But then when he left again, I'm like, well, sorry you feel that way, man. Here's your backpack. He wouldn't even fucking take it. He just glared at me and stomped out of the building. And I'm like, okay, fuck you. You know? So if Alex did get arrested, it's news to me. What did he get arrested for? I don't know. Like, Alex Campbell didn't used to be like this. Like, something in him changed. Something in Alex changed. I don't know what the fuck it is. Just sitting there trying to become the next wand apprentice. I'm like, yeah, okay. I don't mind teaching people how to make wands. It keeps the craft alive. But nobody... Makes wands like Cobra does, you know. I mean, look at this. Look at it. This is the one I made with my lathe on the video. Yeah. The fans really like the, the lathe video, so I might do more videos like that. If that's what you cool Cobras want. No, oh, sad. Oh, some for the queen, huh? Shit. Ah! <laughs> Maybe a couple more. You see, right? You can enjoy a lot of different ways. You know? Can be appetizer, big party, champagne, wine, wrapping up, talking, eat. I'm going to make sure that I have champagne later when we take this home. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm excited to take this takeout kit home and give it a try. Sure. If you want someone to brush their fucking teeth and donate any money for them to do I just it, spoke with Lord right Vader. Not to do it. Brush your teeth, boy. Well, thanks for acknowledging my pronouns. 
you think if my trolls fucking hated my ass that they wouldn't care if my teeth fell out from not brushing them? It would encourage it, but instead it's like, no, dude. <sighs> What's up, YouTube? Thank you to Zach for the Guar tickets. I'm looking forward to seeing them. Most definitely, what the freak is up, dude? Want to give a shout out to Grantley. Thank you for your $10 donation via Cash App. He says, "For well, hope you have a great day, buddy. Well, thanks. I appreciate that. As always, I'll catch you later. Fuck your skag on hell, Satan. All right. This fucking asshole, Lou Johnson on Cash App, gave me a dollar. He said, and I quote, the power of stupid Jesus blocks you from going live. No, it doesn't, dude. No, it fucking doesn't. Okay? Your little sky god bullshit doesn't work on me, cuz. But you know what? The power of Satan compelled you to give me a fucking dollar, and I appreciate that. Fuck out of here. Fuckers don't tell me shit. You take that money from the trolls and run with it. Uh, shout out to uh, Sandra Smith. Thank you for your $10 donation. She writes, stream brushing your teeth and I will, and washing out your mouth and I will send you $100. Well, they also asked me to floss. And my toothbrush has a flossing feature. It shoots a jet of water to floss my teeth. I was helping Darth Lenny with the project real quick. That's why I wasn't able to go live. But that's all right, because Darth Lenny's doing me a solid. You know, he's helping out my landlord with uh, the scrap and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're updating the uh, apartments around here and getting rid of all the, like, the 70s kind of outdated, outdated stuff, stuff that's broken, you know. And my boy Darth Lane has been kind enough to help with getting rid of that and scrapping it. So that makes it easier for my landlord, and I appreciate that. You know the green stove that I have? I still have it. I was loading those into the back of Darth Lane's new truck. So there you go. What's up, YouTube? I want to give a shout-out to Sandra Smith, who wanted to see me brush and floss my teeth and use mouthwash. I just got a fucking brand new bottle of that stuff right there. I do have a couple of cavities. Eh, gross. Okay, so I'm going to brush my teeth. Now, what I have is this amazing toothbrush right here. It's rechargeable. It has the uh, floss feature. I'll turn the flosser all the way up. Watch when I hit the button. See that? It spits water. That's how I floss my teeth. That's a lot easier than trying to like do it with like string and shit. Do a dollop, do do a dollop, a daisy. There's our toothpaste. Oop. Spoke a little bit of it, that's all right. Now we're going to brush the teeth, ha ha. That stings a little bit. I just need to brush my teeth more. Mm. Minty fresh. Yeah. What is that up? you? Yes, it is. Let me see. All right, one, one second. Ah. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Wow. Cubs wow. in the his house. Wow. 
Awesome. Sir, Sir King, Sir King, I, I guess I'm going to ask you, do you want me to fly you to Arizona? Yes. Uh, say yes. <laughs> just say yes, dude. Right. Motherfucker, you know you ain't got nothing going on, dude. Bring the lathe. Bring the lathe, dude. Say bless. Every day I was alive is another day that I can go on in life. There you go. Well, Mr. Cobra, it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Relentless. I'm here in Arizona, and I'm offering you a round-trip coach flight ticket from your coach. state <laughs> to ours. <laughs> Wow. And it Come on, Coach. Class. Say yes. Say yes. You can sleep on my army cot. Fans, so it's going to be careful, you know. You can stay at yeah, Crystal's, you, dude. You can trust me, Cobes. I'm not going to be fine with me. Hell yeah. You'd be safe Hell with Crystal, yeah. dude. What are you drinking, Cobes? What are you drinking? What are you making your Bud drink combo with? Bud Light. You I got a 24 pack. <laughs> so, so, Cobra, do you work dude, with Argon? Up. What's that? Do you work with Argon? Argon? Uh, is that like a bad guy from a movie or something? No, Who the fuck is uh, Argon? No, it's 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 a precious metal, right, Cobra? No, oh. I, I think Argon's a gas. Oh yeah. Yeah, but we—that's how we fight the chemtrails, though. Are you in on that? No, I'm not in on that. You're <laughs> not in on that. I'm trying to—I'm trying to figure out what you're about, kind sir. I have something. I, I actually bought something to drink. Uh, this is gonna be a one-time dealio, but hold on, I have to I have to go get it. Hold on. My prom was listen, you guys, you assholes. I didn't go to prom in 1980 fucking four. My prom was 1997, you bastards. I never went to prom except for in job corps when I was dating Stephanie. How's the uh, wine business coming, dude? Lucrative. Loving it. Two wands right now. That I'm going to try to get sold and listed on the weekend. So I get some money for that Guar concert. Oh, Guar! Where are they playing? At a local spot here in town. What Guar? Yes. Guar. I'm looking playing in Casper. To, yes. No way, dude. One of my fans got me a ticket, dude. I'm stoked. And fuck all the trolls telling me they're going to show up to Guar and kick my ass. You do realize the cops watch my videos and the cops here in town are a fan of my, my videos. How oh, tall are you? Close. Almost six feet. Oh, you're tall. Like six feet, basically, yeah. So, so Cobra, are you single? Yeah, I've been mm -hmm. single for five years. Why don't you want to date Crystal? No, stop it. Are Relentless, are stop. That's, that's not right. necessary yeah. here. That's we're friends. I never said I wanted to or didn't want to. I'm getting to know her he first. never said he didn't want to, Crystal. Oh my god, Relentless, stop. That's my name, honey. It's Relentless. I know, I'm but relentless. I want you to stop because this okay. is my friend and I it's okay. gonna make it weird. Josh, you've never been to jail, have you? Josh. What's up? Have you ever been to jail? No, I haven't. Dude, uh, I know Warlord's been I've in jail, been in jail a, bunch. a couple times. Warlord's a fucking regular. <laughs> oh, don't even get me started on Warlord, dude. He fucking burned his bridge with me when he was on the stream with you last time. I told that fucker to quit touching me, and he, and he wouldn't quit, dude. I know. It was making and me He's so like one of them I dudes, know. man. Okay, it's like I, I, you can tell that it's like one of your best friends ever. You know what I mean in the whole wide world. But then he's just no, can't stop doing some weird well, shit. Like, he's one of my friends, but like not after that should be pulled. You never know, man. Are you at um? Are you at Ellen? Like you can't have your camera off. What's that? Are you at uh, that girl's parents' house right now? Is that why you can't have your camera on? No. Oh, okay. Um, did you get a hundred dollars to do that toothbrush or that teeth brushing uh, video? Not yet, no. That you did it before they paid you. They gave me ten dollars and said, "I'll we'll give you a hundred if you brush your teeth." And then I texted them, "Well, the only floss I have is the automatic flosser with my toothbrush," and they said that works. 
I really hope they uh, they don't fuck you over on that. Did you get the money for doing eating the fruit? No, I did not. Re what? Dude, you should blast then whoever then said that. Then when I called them out on it, they accused me of being an asshole and a scammer. And I'm like, dude, really? Mental. Oh, Josh, <laughs> what are you going to be for Halloween? What are you going as? Me? Yeah. I'm being on a Wild West Warlock for Halloween. A Wild West so, so what does that entail? <laughs> it entails me dressing up, having my wand in my trench coat, and a little six shooter and a wand in my pocket. Um, Tim M says, Chris will ask Cobra about his story special wand. Is that bad or no? Wait, what? Do you have a story called special wand or about a special wand? Oh, yeah, I'm going to have the story special blonde after I retype it. I'm working on the story right now. I got like three three or four stories I'm going to write. Like at least three off the top of my head. Are you? Can you turn your camera on or no? People want to see it. I mean, they can hear you. But... Briefly, just for a second. Come to my window. <laughs> nice. Like so, I I just don't know very much about it. Someone had said that you have you you've created your own religion, and I haven't. I don't really know that much about it. So I was just wondering if you could fill me in on that. I'll go a little more into depth and in on that when the time is right. Oh, okay. Pastor says he's a pastor for Josh's religion. Do you have pastors? Because I'm no, I I'm a, no, I don't. Oh, no, I don't. Stolen I'm, valor. The only, I'm the only pastor of my religion. Is that, did, is that stolen valor? The messengers, you know. Chris, well, let's sell this record tonight. I'll give you 30 bucks if you can sell this. What is that? I don't even know what it is. All right, hold on. Hey, Walt, what do you got to figure the trolls, buddy? Yeah, they're Hi. fucked up. Hi. Hi, they're fucked up. They, they're fucking punks. So can I can I ask you a couple questions? I'm a Vietnam vet, so show your respect. Can I thank you for your service, by the way, sir? Can I ask you a few questions? If you don't mind. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So first of all, I'm a Crystal. I'm a friend of folks. So, Do what now? I couldn't understand what you said. She asked if if I was stalking your daughter. No, she, he's not. No. You heard it from the man himself. You heard it from Ellen's father. I'm not stalking her. No, he's not. There you go. You're welcome, Walt. You're welcome. Yeah, I do. It's not weird, you guys. Um, they said, we're only there because of you, Cobra. Tell Cobra the internet only knows about them because he uploaded them. It's Ellen's mom. You don't want to fuck with her either. You know what? I don't, give a fuck who, yeah, I don't give a fuck who in the fuck everybody is, but I'll tell you what. These people keep talking shit on my motherfucking daughter, and I'm calling every fucking cop in goddamn Casper, Wyoming, and I guarantee it. Yeah, and the cops support my That's what's videos. up! They know I'm autistic, too, and the cops are friends of my videos, so keep fucking around. <laughs> that, she does not For around. sure. Hi! Thank you for clearing that up. So nice to see that my satanic powers are affecting Lou Johnson on Cash App. Pray Satan. Thank you for your one dollar donation. I had a little, uh, fuck Jesus Christ. I had a little bit of shit in my beard there. Yeah. I had a sandwich earlier. I had a vocal cover request. Uh, so I'm going to do that. I'm a legit fangirl. It's Why by the Hollows. To fall asleep with my demons dying. In my case, demons living. 
When all the earth grows, some planted and some cold. In Berlin, I saw two men fought. I'm not gonna. No, I'm not listening to this. This I didn't. No, dude. No, that's gross. I don't want to hear that. That's gross. You don't want to fucking hear that. I'm not singing the rest of that. That's gross, dog. Y'all, is she straight trolling me with this? She better not be, dude. That's disgusting. I don't want to fucking hear that. In Berlin, I saw two women fuck in the dark corner of a basketball court. Gross, dog. Am I uh, being trolled with this song? I have to wonder if he's like, what the fuck? Yeah, I'm not singing this song. You got the gist. I can sing like the band. But anyways, Tubes, thanks for watching. What up, YouTube? It's your boy Cobra back at it with another video. Want to give a shout out to Lou Johnson. My satanic powers have effect on you. Thank you for your one dollar donation to my PayPal. No offense to Maxine, but I'm not singing that song. And no offense to Kate, but I'm not singing that artist. But uh, anyways, I'll catch you later. What up, YouTube? It's your boy Cobra back at it with some shredding. You calling me chicken? You hold up. You go live. Hold on. <laughs> What's up, dude? Yo, what's going on? It's been a while. What's up? What's up, man? I fucking, I blew it on your birthday, dude. Yeah, dude, how the hell did your channel even get busted anyway? Like, what the fuck even happened? Because I, I played a video that has um, a million views, Chance, but it's a guy jerking off. He's he's um, teaching you about, uh, pre, like, I guess, premature ejaculation. You need to take better care of yourself, man. Okay. Right, Josh, go on, Marty. Marty, Marty, why, why don't you, why Josh, don't you don't take them on? Right? Fucking goddamn show them your shit. Hey, Marty, Marty, why yes, don't you? Go hey, Marty, why don't you? Get fucked. Get All right, no, man, no, man. All right, no, man. It's all right, it's all time you fuck somebody. Hey, not bad, bro. Sorry, when was the last time you got laid? What's Cobra been up to? Just chilling, man, making wands for Etsy. How many of those so did you cream out? I'll have two wands on Etsy for sale tonight or tomorrow. I've heard good things. So I think, I think actually Courtney once inserted one of them into herself on a live stream. <laughs> it might have. Josh, did you ever see that live stream? Mm -hmm. Where I, I took one of your wands and I put one of the wands inside of me. Oh, I did not see that. <laughs> it's not its intended purpose, is it? <laughs> I got a wand I put inside court. Oh! Oh, oh! And it's definitely magical. Wow. Wow. Oh, dude. Yeah, this is up. You got a 24 7 liquor deliver, delivery over there, Cubs? Do you have like yeah, soft no, I got liquor delivery? Why is it, is it like 24 7? No, it's not. <clears throat> I got plenty of beer though right now, so I'm good. But thank you for offering. Um, like I don't, I don't want to know where you live. I know Courtney probably does, but uh, well, she doesn't know where I live. Really, I live in Casper, Wyoming. That's all anyone knows. 
I'd keep it that way, man. These people seem to be like, pretty crazy with you. Well, the landlord supports my video, so it doesn't matter. They basically renewed my lease to stick it to my trolls, which I thought was hilarious. Really? Yeah, I mean, I don't know why everyone gives you such a hard time. Like, what have you done to really bother people? You don't hurt anybody. I try not to. It's the way of the cobra. You don't attack unless you're cornered. You see cobras in the wild, they just want to get away. They don't want to cause conflict. They only hood up when they're cornered or they feel threatened. I have to go inside and have a cigarette. What kind of cigarettes do you smoke? NXTs. Oh, my God. My girlfriend smokes those. Who's Sasha? <laughs> Don't worry about it. What do you mean? Well, Alex Campbell thinks he's trans, but he's taking schizophrenic medication, so which causes him to gain weight as a side effect. So, yeah. What is it, like a uh, Seracol or something? Like, uh... I forget the name of it, but... I'll just make you a free one because that ticket kicks ass and I'm looking forward to the show, dude. No, dude, you already bought me a ticket to go see Guar. You don't gotta then buy a wand on top of it, dude. That's... No, nah, dude, come on. One of my fans bought me a ticket to go see Guar, and I'm looking forward to that. It's gonna be sick. I love heavy metal and shit. And they offered to PayPal me money for the lightsaber wand. I said, dude, you don't gotta do that. I'll just make you a lightsaber wand. But those wands will be available on Etsy either tonight or tomorrow. I also have another wand. It's the pumpkin themed wand. This is the other wand that'll be listing on my Etsy. Just trying to get some money for the Guar concert. No, Zach has been very generous. He bought me a uh, ticket to go see Guar. I haven't been to a metal concert in ages. The last rock concert I went to was Ozzy Osbourne in Denver, Colorado, and hmm, Ellen DeGeneres. I don't know her personally, man. No idea what you're talking about. Nope. Just going to the Guar show to have a couple beers and a burger if I can afford it, and then just enjoying the concert, you know, and people talk to me. That's cool. If not, that's cool, too. My dad doesn't give a fuck if I'm still awake. Jesus Christ. These people are so pathetic. So subscribe to this channel that I'm streaming on right now. Because Courtney's main channel is banned. Or temporarily banned. Because YouTube is a bunch of fucking assholes. You know, it, this may just be the alcohol talking, but YouTube doesn't give a shit who you are unless you're, like, super famous. So, you know, now that I'm starting to become super famous on YouTube, they're letting me, they're letting me slide with a lot of shit on YouTube. Because they know, they know for a fucking fact if my King Cobra JFS channel gets deleted, I'll just come back and make more videos on a different account, you know. Fuck sickos, dude. That's someone impersonating my YouTube channel. It's like the dumbest shit ever. Y'all are trying to groom me into some... You're all trying to Chris Chan my ass, and I'm refusing to do it because I am my own individual and I make my own decisions. I'm aware of the fact that you can all see it. I'll show you that who the real Cobra is when I type it. Fuck sickos. That's my real fucking channel, dude. The fact that my trolls are impersonating my fucking channel to try to ruin my good name shows they're fucking jealous. And then I win again. Y'all doing this crap because Courtney's drunk and it's just like, wow. I'm not blaming Courtney, to be honest. I'm, you know what I'm saying? People are like, okay, Courtney's wasted on White Claws. So let's fuck with her and impersonate, you know... Cobra's channel, so she mods the wrong Cobra. It's like they tried that hard to fuck with me because I live rent free in my trolls' heads. I'm going to stick that in my account. $11. It's pretty freaking sweet. Better than nothing, to be honest. Yeah. I feel another uh, 
wet and juicy video coming on. Uh, oh, fuck yeah. Good enough. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> These warlords fucking piss me off. I don't want to talk about that. Boundary issues. When Alex gets too drunk, he has boundary issues. And he gets belligerent and unpredictable. He got arrested for public intox. I like him to fuck off with that shit. I want the best for him, but like, he's doing it to himself, dude, you know? Alex Campbell lied to me about having cancer, and then when I asked him about it, he said, Oh, uh, uh, I never said that. The dude is schizophrenic, okay? Going on Crystal Stream and saying he's taking medication for his transitioning. The pills he's taking are, are fucking psych meds for his schizophrenia. The dude's a pathological fucking liar. I'm sorry, but I've seen it happen. He don't see it because, you know, he's... He's got some mental issues. And that's not a bad thing. He's even admitted to having mental issues. If you get Alex Campbell on the right medication, and if he learns to be a little bit more responsible when he drinks and not get carried away, you know. So the dude came back the next day and tried asking for a cigarette. I told him to fuck off, dude. You were dogging on Crystal. Then you were sexually harassing her. No, dude. I'm done. Fuck that shit. Okay, I want to exit out of this stream when I run out of beer. Got it, trolls. And if you don't like me streaming, then here's the thought. Why not just say, you know what, fuck Cobra. I'm done watching him and supporting him. You know that? You act like someone's holding a wand to your head. I am listing two wands for sale on Etsy. So I can have a little bit of money for the Guar concert. Oh, I have a lot to think about, and I think more than you do. That's the beauty of having Asperger's, is it does have its perks. Even though I come off as socially retarded, I'm actually a lot more intelligent than people give me credit for. You know, people just look at you like you're some stupid Ozzy Osbourne wannabe burnout on alcohol. You know, and it's like, let them think that. Let them fucking think that. It just makes it easier for me to blend into society. Well, I didn't try to seduce Courtney intentionally. King Cobra JFS cannot help it if he seduces women unintentionally. I don't know where the fuck Courtney disappeared to. She got a little Saturday shwasted. Then White Claws, man, they'll grip you. <laughs> Courtney got drunk and passed out. That's all right. I don't know if the stream will personally end if I exit out of it. I'm not aware of how stream yards works or stream labs, whatever the fuck. <laughs> exactly, dude. The majority of my trolls are a bunch of immature 12 year old kids. Who have never touched boob, and if they want liquor, they got to steal the money out of their mom's purse and then hire some piece of shit to do it for them and take that $13.76. That's all from Cash App and the shout outs that I gave earlier. Sweet. Not sure what's going to happen, but well, I do appreciate y'all watching. Fuck sickos to fuck the troll. What up, YouTube? Doing a uh, gas station food hack. I love you in my next video. Hope you're all having a beautiful Sunday evening. Just sitting here sipping on some Mountain Dew. Thank you to the fans who bought uh, the wands from Cobra Craft Handmade Wands. I'll be getting those in the mail tomorrow. Most definitely, what the freak is up? It's your boy Cobra back at it with another video. So the hot dog food hack is not going to happen. 
Uh, didn't quite turn out the way I wanted it to, but that's all right. The hot dogs in, in themselves were tasty. All right, like I tried the hot dog and eh, it's all right. I didn't like the way I filmed it, so it is what it is. Tube, this is a uh, the food hack I was trying to do. I ordered two hot dogs from the Maverick mm, gas station. Okay, I unwrapped the buns when it when I got here, slapped on the uh, the cheddar cheese stuffed bratwurst, took a Jack Link's hot stick beef jerky stick, and slapped a big old chunk of it right there. Okay, and look at that. We got flaming hot Cheetos and some. Uh, America Whip Mayonnaise. I tried it. It tasted good. I had one earlier. But what do you guys and gals and they thems think? Would you eat it? Probably not. Looks pretty gross, huh? Yeah, well, I'm going to take a bite of it. Mmm. Overall, I would give this food hack a solid 6 out of 10. It's actually really good. Not as spicy with just the regular bratwurst, but again, I'm not complaining, Maverick. You all are out and very professional with letting me know the situation. Um, <laughs> so I feel like shit, but I'm going to press onward, take some day quail and just... Do it, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking forward to the Guar concert in a couple hours. My fans spent a lot of money on the ticket for me, so I'm going to man up and just drink some Day Quill and go to the concert. I took some Day Quill and I got some money for the concert, so I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm going to take a shower before I go to the concert, so I got that tactical soap on, yeah. Big ups to the cab company I took to get my money from the bank. That's most definitely what's up. There's a main cab company I go with here in town. I'm not going to plug them on my YouTube. Just because I don't want them getting harassed by my fucking YouTube trolls. But you know who you are. What up, YouTube? It's your sexy goth bad boy, King Cobra, JFS. Woo! We're at the uh, Guar concert. Fuck the trolls! Fuck them! Okay. Mm. Hold up. Plant my Asperger's down here. Yeah. I, got some, uh, I forgot what the fuck I ordered, but I know I got a Bud Light and a mixed drink, so we're set. Dude, I totally do cocaine with Guar. <laughs> yeah. What up, YouTube? Oh boy, it's your boy King Cobra back at it with another video. The Guar show was epic, dude. I had a good time, an awesome time at the Guar show. They put on one hell of a show. It was cool watching them squirt blood into the crowd and everything. And you know what? Thank you to the fans who are at the Guar show who asked for selfies, you know? And fuck the trolls, dude. I own your lives. What happened? 
I thought my troll said they were going to jump me at the Guar concert. What happened, you pussies? I made it very clear to all the assholes who were harassing me at the concert that if you try to attack me, I will stab you in the fucking neck, dude. And Guar won't be the only one squirting blood. What's up, YouTube? You know what kills me about my YouTube trolls? I don't have to harass you fuckers in real life to get inside your head. I live rent-free inside my trolls' heads, otherwise they wouldn't harass me. And it's sad, YouTube, it really is. I still kind of feel like shit, but I'm starting to feel a little bit better, but not by much. Yeah, dude, I got a $50 donation from one of my fans again. Like, holy crap, that's awesome. For a beer, don't give me a shout out, please. Just enjoy life, bro. Word. Well, I need a, that money to pay off a late fee, so that's actually going to help with that situation. Um, It doesn't matter what the late fee is for. But just know it will get paid off. I would have a beer right now, but it's not even 5 o'clock yet. The only reason I drank the other one earlier is because it was already open in, in my fridge. Society is so fucking exhausting, dude. This video is like 45 goddamn minutes long. I turned the chat off so I could focus on doing the video. Wham. You want to see chat back on? Throw 100 bucks into my PayPal or Cash App. And next live stream, I will turn the chat back on. I'm starting to feel a little bit better. You know, I pretty much spent the last couple of days, like, sleeping and resting. and You know what I'm saying? I don't care how sick I was, dude. I slammed some day quill and I went to the Guar concert. That concert was fucking sick, dude. I had a Bud Light on me when they hit the stage. Right when Guar hit the stage, I did my Bud Light trick where I make it spray all over the play, all over the place, and I fucking spray the crowd with it. And, you know, yeah. And they're like, we're going to jump you at the Guar concert. And I'm like, what happened, bitch? You going to jump me at the Guar concert? They were threatening me every day. When I see Guar in concert again, absolutely, fucking literally, dude. That was mental as shit. So watch them squirt blood all over the place. I'm like, ooh, that blood looks delicious. lesbians should be able to talk about men because they don't know what it's like to be a man or be with a man okay so you know no offense butterfield but some lesbians have become lesbian because they're sick of men and some of them do it because that's just how they identify and who they are as people i've heard several women in my lifetime Say they've gone lesbian because they're sick of men and they're bullshit. So it's not too far when I've had personal experience hearing it from women who have dated other men. Not myself exactly, but you know. Outside of Stephanie, I haven't really heard any woman complain about dating me. And that was a first time mistake and a last time mistake at that. Fuck off with it. When you tell women, don't take your eyes off of your drink because someone might spike it. Don't dress so provocatively because someone might touch you. Oh my fucking God. Okay, no one's going to argue with you on keeping women safe. But the fact that women can't dress provocatively without worry, without having to, you know, without, without, like, sincerely, what? Women should be allowed to dress provocatively and show off their body. The same as men who are old enough. If you're 18 years of age or older and you want to show off your body in a provocative manner for the opposite sex, 
who are also the same age as you and you're both consenting adults. And there should be no problem with that. The fact that women cannot dress provocatively without having to worry, without, without having to, you know what I'm saying? That women have to worry about being unwantedly touched. You know what? If you're a dude who spikes chicks drinks because you're too much of a pussy, you're too much of a fucking pussy to take no for an answer. You got to spike a chick's drink because you can't take being told no. Screw you, dude. Fucking screw you. Still going. I see the green lights. Fantastic. Hey, but it can't just be TikTok and Tumblr and Twitter. Where else can that hate come from? I Internet wonder. Only My parents tried course. really hard to raise me gender neutral. Ah, you're in a cult. You were born into a cult. Okay, don't dog on cults like that. Not all, not all cults are bad. And listen, I've tried doing this before, but I just can't. I can't sit through his content because, as established, He's a cishet Australian man. Emphasis on the Australian part. I can't deal. I can't handle it. Whoa. Racist. Okay, that's a bit racist. And to be honest, it doesn't surprise me. What you got against Australians, mate? And you know what that's like to live in a society where women and men are told you can't express your emotions without being judged? And if you even have like a slight two-minute freak out or less, like, Oh, fuck this shit and fuck that and fucking fuck, fuck, fuck. You know what I'm saying? And people look at you like, you can't have that because you have a nasty temper. I'm like, screw that. Okay? You spill your fucking beer and you throw a little, you know what I'm saying? You're like, oh, fuck, I spit my beer. Mother fucking fuck, fucking whore, fuck. Nice going, retard. Fucking retard. And then you let it go after that. There's nothing wrong with that, dude. There's nothing wrong with expressing your emotions and saying, this is why I'm pissed off. Okay, the problem comes is when you overreact to it and you carry on. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, Bon Jovi, slippery when wet. Anyways, when I was doing the Isaiah Butterfield video response last night, my stream froze up. And uh, it is what it is. Shit. There is no such thing as girly drinks. That kind of sexism will get you banned from my channel. And if you think it's disgusting, then I'll just hide you from my fucking YouTube channel so you don't have to watch. I don't see you drinking it. Boy, I had a dream last night. I was with a smoking hot, of age, alive, cisgendered, biologically female, non-related, consenting female that was goth and that was non-related female. It was a nice dream. And I woke up and it was like, ah. Boy, I had a dream last night. I was with a smoking hot, of age, alive, cisgendered, biologically female, non-related, consenting female that was goth and that was non-related female. It was a nice dream. And I woke up and it was like, ah, I don't get to have dreams like that too often. It didn't lead anywhere too promiscuous, but it was still nice to have. I want to keep waiting patiently, yo. Five years of... Without sex, ain't shit. And then really, it's it'll be five years officially in November. Still waiting on an accessory for my Halloween costume, which should be getting here next month. Uh, so it'll get here before Halloween. That's the important thing. Been waiting for that costume accessory since July. Yeah. As far as the late fee goes, I'm taking care of it, so don't worry about it. It's, it's I'm something much more powerful than a wizard. <laughs> yes, 
It is Friday, and I hope you're all having a bitchin' Friday. I got me a little, little weekend fun. Well, part two of the video response isn't going to happen because it's just a waste of talking points. And it's just me repeating the same 10 gender talking points I've had on my channel for a hot minute. So, eh. Haven't heard from Mr. Green lately. Hope he's doing all right. I haven't talked to Dave in a minute. Hmm. Uh, I'll do a cheap ball real quick.